Welcome to Blizzard Entertainment's Battle.net World Championship Seating Show. I'm Rob Simpson. I'm Jacqueline Geller. Today, we will be determining the group stage position for all 32 players who've qualified for the 2012 StarCraft II World Championship Series Global Finals. Now, these groups will be played out live from the Battle.net World Championship in Shanghai, China on November 17th and 18th. Each of the 32 players that will be seated today earned their spots through playing in each of their respective national qualifiers, nationals, and continental finals. And joining us here today at the Blizzard Studios, we have three very special guests. They'll be here to provide insight and commentary. We have Kevin Rotterdam Vanderkoy, Sean Day9 Plot, and Ben Mr. Bitter Nickel. All right, so before we get the festivities started, we're going to show you a brief video that will explain exactly how the tournament format's going to work. The global finals for the 2012 StarCraft II World Championship Series are split into two phases. Phase one of the tournament is the group stage. An easy way to remember how the group stage works is that players need two match wins to progress, and if they lose twice, they're out. The winner and runner-up from each of the eight groups advance to the playoffs, where they'll be pitted against the winners and runners-up from the other groups in a best-of-five single elimination bracket. The matches in the playoffs remain a best-of-five until the grand finals. The grand finals of the StarCraft II World Championship Series will be a best of seven where the winner takes home $100,000 and the title of 2012 StarCraft II Global Champion. In the first stage of the group selection process, we'll be drawing players one through three in all eight groups. So the one condition here is that all three players must have come to the global finals through different continental finals. That's right. So if we happen to pick a duplicate, we're just going to place their name to the side and pick another name to replace them until we get to the next group. So are you ready, Rob? Oh, you bet I'm ready. How about you guys? Are you ready? All right. So to get the festivities started, we're going to go ahead and get these envelopes mixed into the selection goblet. Now, what's worth noting, you'll notice that there, uh, there are some colors on the front of these envelopes. What each of those colors denote is the continental that they came from. Yellow means that they came from Europe. We've got blue, and that means that they came from the Asia finals. Red means that they came from the Oceania finals. And orange means that they came from South America. Last but certainly not least, green came from North America. So that's how we're going to be able to tell if we get duplicates or not. So Jacqueline, let's get that first name for Group A. Okay, so the first player who's going to be in Group A for the Battle.net World Championship Series StarCraft Final. Ooh, Chris Lee, Quantic Illusion. All right, and now we've got a player coming from South America, Phoenix. Oh my oh god. god. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> so the third player coming from Asia, from Korea, StarTail Parting. All right, so that does round out the three selections for Group A. Roddy. Man, what do you think about this group so far? I think it's a very funny draw that we have only four Terran players and somehow they end up playing each other first. I think both of those guys will be very satisfied with that. I'm sure that both of them are convinced that they can take the other player out. Uh, I actually have high hopes of Illusion this tournament, so I really look forward to seeing him. Yeah, the one thing I like so much about Illusion as a player is that he's very much so good at preparing for matches. There's a lot of players who are good at the weekend-long marathon-style tournament where you have to be, on average, good at all matchups, but Illusion always comes to the table with weirder and weirder builds. I even remember at the Red Bull Battlegrounds tournament doing this really weird mass speed reaper expand in Terran versus Terran and just crushing Korean opponents left and right. So I do think Illusion will likely be able to take down Phoenix, but it's parting that I think everyone mm. would say is the favorite. <laughs> probably, <laughs> Clearly. probably the favorite, but I've, I really like this group for Illusion. Mm -hmm. I think Phoenix is an opponent that he's going to be very happy to play against because Phoenix has not been as active as a guy like Illusion. And we have to remember, Illusion's in the Startail house right now, training over in Korea, so he has a lot of time and many opportunities to learn parting style because he's practicing with him on a fairly regular basis. All right, so now, moving on to Group B, the first player is... Right in here, Vortex. Ooh. Second player in Group B playing against Vortex. It's going to be the USA champion, Root mm. Vibe. Well, huh. Now the third player in here. Oh, we're going to have the Chinese national champion, the Zerg player, Calm. Mm, all right, Mr. Bitter. What's going on in Group B? A lot of ZVZs going on in Group B. Uh, Vibe versus Vortex is a really interesting match on paper because you've got yeah. your North American runner-up against the Spanish runner-up. Uh, both these guys, fantastic players. I think they're super evenly matched. I feel like when I watch Vibe play and when I watch Vortex play, a lot of similarities between these two play styles. All right, so to so kick us off. First player in Group C, oh. 
Taiwan champion, Sen. That's right, the Zerg superstar from Taiwan. And joining him here, playing Sen in round one, is Killer from Team Dignitas. So we're gonna have a ZVZ again in Group C. I guess I'm not exactly surprised because that is the largest representation. 15 of the players of the 32 are Zerg at this tournament. So, you know, it's good to get the Zerg for Zergs out of the way, get some non-mirrors coming up. All right. Well, so now rounding out Group C, the third player in the group that we've got in here will be from North America. The favorite Canadian Protoss? Evil Genius is hugged. <laughs> All right, so Sean, tell us what you think about Group C. Well, Rob, let me tell you what I think about Group C. <laughs> Sen, I think very much so, is going to be the favorite. He's taken down Huck pretty much um, in most of the tournaments they've played, mm. even back to 2010, Sen's been the favorite. Killer is one of those up-and-coming players who's very unpredictable. I think in terms of just general solidness, Sen is the clear favorite for the group, but Killer is really good at these suicidal all-in timing attacks, and a lot of Zergs have also been figuring out how to both do these timing attacks but not completely screw up their economy. The player I'm really um, interested to see is Huck. Huck, who has kind of had a dip, but is slowly on the rise. So now moving on to Group D, the first player that we have, the Protoss player from Quantic Gaming, State. Joining him in Group D is going to be FX Open Esports Baby Night, ah. Denmark national champion. All right, so first PvP we've seen so far. Now the third player, oh, we've got the Zerg player, Mafia. Mr. Bitter, tell us what you think about State versus Baby Night. I like this matchup a lot for Baby Knight. He's got some yeah. excellent PvP. Um, I don't want to say it's a, a free win because State is training in the in the Startail House over in Korea, so uh, that's going to help him out a lot. But Baby Knight's PvP is a little bit legendary in Europe these days. I mm -hmm. think he's got a good shot. And now to get us started for Group E, who's the first player we're going to have, Jacqueline? Ooh. The French Zerg himself, Evil Genius Stefano. Oh, and playing against him, it's going to be a player from Asia. Oh, oh. but who's it? Hero. Oh, 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 please be Hero. Rain. <laughs> please rain. be Hero. Be hero or Rain. Rain. All right. Hero or from rain. Asia. Playing against Stefano is none other oh, than Liquid yes. Hero. Oh. Sean, if, if you ask, you shall receive. Well, I don't Hero like was a safe bet because he had two <laughs> options. <laughs> <laughs> so joining them in Group E. Is going to I think be. This is going to be pretty sick. Oh, from North America. North America. Oh, wow. Scarlet one time. Idra. Evil Genius is Idra. Oh, wow. Uh, obviously, this group looks great uh, at the moment. I do want to add that Hero and Stefano did play pretty recently at the NASL Season 3 Finals, and everybody was like, oh, that's going to be a great match, but I still think Hero is going to take it. Like, Stefano is good, but at the end of the yeah. day, Stefano actually looked really superior in that best mm -hmm. of five. I think he won it 3-1, or was it even 3-0? Yeah, I think it was a 3-0. Either of the two, Stefano looked fantastic. So. One-sided oh, yeah. games, yeah. Hero has a, a lot of work ahead of him. So now, moving on to Group F, the first player we have here, we've got Curious. Playing Curious in Group F is going to be the Russian national champion, Ooh, Titan. That's fun. All right, so a PVZ to kick off Group F. And now, who are they going to be playing against? Major. One time. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, he, he, he got it. It's Root Major. I'm Come good on. at my job. Rotterdam, what do you think about Group F? Oh, uh, Titan vs. Curious is super fun. I'm not sure how Titan is PvZ is these days. I must say I was a little bit disappointed with Titan's performance at the European Continentals. Of course, mm -hmm. Titan is qualified because he won the Russian uh, Russia Nationals. But I was a little bit disappointed with his performance on the European Continentals, but he's a very talented player. And I've known him for a long time since Warcraft 3, and he practices an insane amount. So it's going to be really hard against Curious because I think Curious is a fantastic Zerg, but it's possible for Titan. Yeah, what's really interesting about Titan as a player is that I think just in terms of general trends, the Europeans tend to be a little bit more on the defensive side, a little bit more of the I'm going to build up and try to power as much as possible and win with a really big mid and late game attack. I and think Titan, Titan. Titan is like just insane. Like he, he does do a lot of corner cutting. He doesn't do any traditional powering in a lot of senses. Uh, often he'll just go one gate straight into an expand and then Colossus and then double forge and then get more gateways against Terran. I mean, these really seemingly risky things, but like you say, practices so much that mm -hmm. any little signal to let him know he can get away with something big, he will take. And I think it's that sort of corner cutting you need to beat someone like Curious. So now for Group G. <laughs> From Infinity 7, we have the Protoss player, oh, Inser. Inser. All right, playing against Inser here in Group G. Oh, we do have the Zerg player, Lowly. Wow, oh. the Belarusian. 
joining them from South America. That it's uh, 11. 11. Yeah, um. the Brazilian national <laughs> okay. champion, Levin. So day nine. Yeah. Tell us about uh, Group G. Well, I think Levin is one of the big surprises there. I mean, there's a lot of well-known uh, Latin American players like Killer and Phoenix, and um, uh, Maker is another player who performed quite well at the recent Latin American Invitational here at Blizzard. And I think that was a huge surprise to see Levin get this far, especially considering he's the only teamless player in the entire tournament. And that's always unusual. So I hope that Levin does manage to do a big splash, considering he has Lowly and Insert in his groups, some of the lesser known players from those regions, but Lowly has actually been one of the longest standing tournament players like ever. <laughs> I think this is a fantastic group for Lowly. Mm -hmm. um, his PV or his Zerg versus Protoss is getting really, really good. He recently beat Hero in the North American Star League. That's a big win. Oh, yeah. And honestly, one that I would have never thought that Lowly <laughs> should get. Um, and he's got Inser that he plays against first, and then potentially he'll run into Levin later. This is like. Jackpot for Lowly, man. He's just like this is like this is like best case for this guy. This is this, I mean, honestly, if you look at the other groups, this one is completely devoid of a huge powerhouse name. Yeah. L Lowly can win this group. It's it's awesome for him. Now for Group H, the first player is none other than the Zerg player Moonglade. Joining them from or him from North America in Group H, it's gonna be the North American champion Scarlet Ooh, herself. Oh man. All right, rounding out Group H, it's none other than the Zerg player, no. Nurchio. Oh, what a sick group. Wow. Yeah, this is a so such a nice group. I think Moonglade's incredibly underrated. I think he's, uh, yeah. I think he's a world-class Zerg player. He just doesn't get much attention because he is in uh, Australia. Scarlet is a monster, beat every good North American Zerg on her way to winning WCS. Uh, North America, obviously. Uh, and then there's Nurchio, who's just, he's like my favorite player. I'm a huge Nurchio fanboy. I think this is like Nurchio's tournament to win, honestly. And in an all Zerg group, ZVZ being one of his absolute best matchups oh, of yeah. all time, I think he's very, very poised to go forward. All right, so that does do it for the first phase of the group selection. Here you can see the remaining eight players up on the screen. <laughs> We've got Suppy, Zaka, Creator, Grubby, Rain, Roro, Lucifron, and CJ Hero. All right, so let's get these groups rounded out. The final player here that's going to be going into Group A. It's yellow. Bro, oh, oh. oh. Uh, so uh, it oh. is from Europe. Now, doubles are perfectly fine at this point Zorka. in the game. Rounding Zorka. out the groups, we're expecting Grabe. doubles. Zorka. Zorka. Wow. From Germany, German national champion. He came 9th oh. through 12th at the European party. finals. Wow. wow. Final <laughs> player for Group B, none other than E.G. Suppy. Oh, the Zerg group. So we have oh, one mega now. Zerg group here. <laughs> All right, and now the final player for Group C. Oh. It is Grubby. Oh, sick oh, wow. BVP. So Group C, That's that last group. matchup there that we're gonna see is gonna be Huck versus Grubby. Final player for Group D. So we Play Mafia is gonna be the Doesn't Protoss player from SK Telecom oh, T1. Oh my God. <laughs> Rain. Wow, that's such a nice group. So now, the final player for Group E, Jackson. Playing Evil Genius' Idra is going to be from Samsung Khan. It is Roro. Oh. Interesting. OK, there's only three players remaining. We could be giving the gift of TVT. If you pull out a yellow envelope, I'm walking off this set. Oh, yes. All right. I was, I was, <laughs> I was getting ready to open the door for you, frankly. So creator or hero. So, Final player, it's either CJ's hero or it's going to be creator, and it is going to be CJ Entis' hero. Oh. So Major forced to play a PVT here in his opening game at the Global Finals. So for the final pick of the event, Jacqueline. Is it going to be PVP or PVT? Oh, you tell us. We do have only one Terran remaining. Oh, so and Lily. it is. Wow, so oh. Lucifron. <laughs> well. We will have Lucifron play in Group G. All right, so with that final pick, that does mean that now Creator has been auto-placed into Group H because he was the last player there. Mm. Oh, that's so sick. All right, so now we're yeah. going to go th briefly through this really quick, Casters, and I want you to tell me your favorite group and your player to win the tournament. So if we could start with you, Rotterdam. Uh, favorite group would be Group E. I think that group is awesome. I'm going to definitely enjoy each and every single game out of it. Play it to win the tournament. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and say Rain. <laughs> 
I'm going to be marginally less bandwagony. I'm going to say Group H is my favorite group uh, to watch, and I will vote for Liquid Hero to win the tournament. I uh, also pick Group H as my group to watch. Uh, I'm a huge Nurtio fan, as a lot of people know. Um, Scarlet's play is always very, very exciting, and I think Creator's another um, Protoss player who's turned a lot of heads. So, uh, really impossible to say who comes out of that group, but Nurtio is my favorite to win the tournament and my favorite to win that group. And that concludes our seating show. So thank you three so much for coming down to the Blizzard studio. We really appreciate your thoughtful insight. And while you're following them on Twitter, don't forget to tweet at us, at StarCraft, with your predictions and which group is your favorite. And remember to use the hashtag BWC, and don't forget to check battle.net forward slash BWC for all of your Battle.net World Championship updates. I'm Rob Simpson. I'm Jacqueline Geller. And we'll see you soon.